Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create Zendesk tickets from new JotForm responses. Now JotForm is a form builder application that you might use to get registrations from different people. And Zendesk is a CRM application. And if you want that, whatever responses you are receiving in JotForm should be added in Zendesk and created a ticket with that information. So that cannot happen automatically and you might have to create a ticket every time manually on your own. But what if I tell you we can actually automate this process with the help of Pabli Connect. We will be creating an integration where our trigger will be a new form submitted in our jot form and our action will be to create a new ticket in our Zendesk. Let us learn how to do it. So let us learn that how can you create a Zendesk ticket when you receive a response from your jot form. We will be doing this with the help of Pabli. As you can see this is the landing page of our Pabli. On the right hand side you have two options sign up for free and sign in. If you don't have an existing account you have to click on sign up for free because I'm already having one I will click on sign in which will take me which will take me to this page where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli to create automation. We will be using Pabli Connect to integrate the two applications JotForm and Zendesk today. Click on access now and that will take you to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you will see a big blue button on the right side where it is written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. Create Zendesk tickets from JotForm responses. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Here you can see two boxes, one has trigger written over it and the other has action. Now what is this trigger and action? A trigger is when this happens and action is do this, which means that whenever you choose an application over here, which will also be called your trigger application, an event will take place in that application and when that happens, this workflow will move ahead in the direction of the action application and the assigned action will be performed in your chosen application. So for today's automation, our trigger is jot form because a response will be received in our jot form and that will be further used that information that we have received in jot form will be used to create a ticket in our Zendesk. So First of all, I might remind you that I have already created a form called information request form over here and I will open this form from this option more and click on publish form. Here I will get a link and I will open this link in a new tab over here so that I can fill up the form. Now this is an amendment request form. If you want to change any of your personal details like name, email, phone number is given over here. That is the basic detail. But if you want to change any other details, so you can enter the detail in this section and then click on submit. As soon as you submit, Pabli Connect will capture the response. Okay, so our trigger event will be a new response from JotForm and then they will provide you a webhook URL. So you have to use this webhook URL to integrate your JotForm and your Pabli Connect. For that, you have to choose the form that you want to integrate, click on more and then click on settings. When you reach settings over here, you have to find integrations in the left side panel like I have here. And then in this section, you have to search for webhooks. Choose this webhook as your integration, erase this and then whatever you've copied it from here, this webhook URL will be pasted here in the add webhook section and click on complete integration and it will take hardly two seconds and see the integration is ready over here. Click on finish and then go back to Pabli Connect. See that it's waiting for a webhook response, which means that now Pabli Connect is waiting for a response or for a form to be submitted. So we'll go to the form and then enter the details. I will enter as demo user is the name, the email address, the phone number with the country code. So I am entering as plus nine one because that is my country code. This is my phone number and I want to change my address. Okay, so I will first of all mention change in my residential address. Okay, and then new address colon. Now this is not a format that you are supposed to follow. You can enter the details in any way that you want. So the new address is this. Okay, so this is the new address and I'm submitting the form right here. 
and see. It says, thank you, your submission has been received. For this, we'll go back to Pabli Connect and wait for the response over here. Give it two, three seconds. The response will be right here in front of you. As you can see, we have received a response. This is the number of the person. This is the area code change in my residential address. And this is the new address. Your message is also here. Then we have the name of the person and the email address of the person. So basically, we have all the details that we have entered in the form. Now we will use this information that is captured by Pabli Connect over here to create a ticket in Zendesk. So click on action application and type over here Zendesk, choose your application and your event will be to create a ticket. Click on connect and then add new connection. Now you have to enter certain credentials over here, your username, your password and your subdomain. So for your username, you have to enter the username that you have used to log in into your Zendesk account. Then you have to enter your Zendesk password and then you have to enter the subdomain. So what will be the subdomain? Here is an example given for your understanding like this is the URL of your Zendesk account. So everything which comes after this slash and before this dot Zendesk is your subdomain. So we'll go back to our Zendesk and click on it. So here you see before dot Zendesk select it till the slash copy it from there and then come over here to public connect and paste it so this is your subdomain click on save and your accounts will be connected see now it says connected now in zendesk you have to understand a very important and crucial step of any workflow that you will be creating in your Pabli Connect. So you have to do a little bit of mapping. Now what is mapping? Mapping is actually connecting or better we can say that creating a pathway between two steps of the workflow. Like here we have the trigger and the action application. So whatever response is received in JOT form, that is our trigger, has to be transferred to our action that is Zendesk. But every time, how can you take the guarantee as the subject of the ticket it will come in the right destination only? For that only we are supposed to do mapping. And how are we going to do the mapping? When you click on any blank field, it will ask you to insert data from the previous step. And what was your previous step? JOT form. So right here is given down as a drop down menu. You click on this menu and then they will give you the whole list of responses so you can just select the subject as information request form okay this was the subject now we have the collaborators email but it doesn't say required and we do not have any collaborator so we're going to leave it empty just remember first priority is to fill all the required fields over here like requester name is given over here so what was the requester name demo space and the second name was user okay this is the name now email address again you have to either scroll or you can just type in the this search and map data so it will be easier for you now your description is the description of your problem so the description of your problem was this okay then put a slash and n because there is no space for your phone number no field so you can just write here phone number colon and space and map your phone number by looking here where is the phone number? This is the phone number. Okay, so phone number is also here. Now what is left? If you want to make this ticket to be public, you can make it public. Otherwise, if you put it to no, it will be only visible to the user of the account. The status is open. And this is not a problem. This is a task that has to be done. Now, is it something somewhere due? So no, nothing information like that has been mentioned that it is due at some date. And you can set the priority to high. Okay, so all this is done, no other required field is left and no other field is needed for our situation right now. So we will just click on save and send test request and wait for the response and see the response is here. First of all, in the responses, look for any error if it shows, then you can correct it right away. But it shows no error, which means that yes, our workflow has worked successfully and all the details that we have mapped has been transferred to Zendesk to create a ticket has been done. So just click on save over here. And then we'll go back to Zendesk to check, go to the home page. And these are the unresolved tickets right here. So first one is information request form. The name was demo user. The 
type is task and the priority is high. If you open this ticket, you can see change in my residential address, new address is this and this is my phone number. So this is the ticket that has been created with the help of our workflow that we have created right now. Let's do a quick recap. We have already a form created over here. First of all, we opened the form with the help of its link in a separate tab. Then we integrated using this webhook URL. We filled up the form and the response was received like this. We used this information to map in our action application that was Zendesk. To connect the Zendesk and Pabli Connect, we used the username, the password and the subdomain of our Zendesk account. Further, we mapped the subject, the requester's name and email and everything. Change the status to open and the type of the ticket to task and the priority was also set. It just depends on you if you want to make these changes. Further, we clicked on save and send test request and then this response was received and when we checked that yes, a ticket has been created. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to to our channel. Thank you.